There's a place that holds a unique title and sits right on the Detroit Riverside Marina. It's the only African American run and operated marina in Michigan, and it has a special history. April Morton is taking us for a cruise through this Detroit history. Ah, the Detroit River, so beautiful, so unique. Something else that's a part of the river has its own unique quality. And the uh, cultural impact that Riverside Marina has here for the African American community is, is very, very big and very, very uh, impactful. With four of the five Great Lakes, it's no surprise Michigan has one of the largest boating communities in the country. But what some may not know is Detroit is home to the largest African American boating community in the nation. And Riverside and Irma Henderson marinas are the only marinas in Michigan ran and operated by a black company. Only two other marinas in the nation hold this title. Riverside has a steep history dating back decades. Uh, and a lot of blacks actually docked over in Canada because they could not dock here uh, in, the, in, the, in the United States because there was, you know, was just racism. So Porterfield wanted to build a marina that was inclusive of everyone. So it didn't matter what color you were, but you would have a nice place to be able to, to dock your boat. And this place was originally the Porterfield Wilson Marina. The late Porterfield Wilson, a black Detroit businessman in the 70s and 80s, along with former Detroit Mayor Coleman A. Young, envisioned a world-class marina. Contracted by the city in 2013 to operate the marina, Jason and his company working to fulfill that vision. We discussed all of this while cruising the river. So Jason, I hear that you're also a boater, right? Absolutely, we're right. boating. How long have you been boating? Since I was about 18 years old. 18? Yes, 18 wow. years old, which is actually kind of late in the game. Most people start at a uh, very early age, six, seven years old, start boating. But I started when I was about 18 years old. About 18, wow. Well, I love boating as well, you so do? yeah. I'm so for a ride? Hey, you haven't said anything before. <laughs> I got my glasses. I got my bar cap. And I got the boat. Just look at this view. No wonder why boating is so huge here. Jason says Riverside seen its largest number of boaters ever. And in the summer, 95% of them are African American. We have 217 slips and they're all completely filled. We, about, we have about 100 person waiting list right now uh, to get into the marina. With all the renovations, the ones that were lucky enough to get in, having a ball this summer, new TVs, fireplace, uh, pool tables, ping pong. Um, the jacuzzi is uh, back up and working. Uh, we had just had a pool party the, uh, the other day here for the residents and uh, it's, it's, been, it's been good times. Not only does Jason and his company host some awesome parties, they also step outside the marina and into the community. They recently hosted an event teaching local youth about boat building and safety. They also hold swim lessons for kids at the marina. The marina also hosted several proms during COVID when schools were in need of open venue spaces. Jason says they haven't yet reached Mr. Wilson's dream of residential living and restaurants at the marina, but he's hoping to one day bring it all to fruition. Although Riverside Marina is for members, there's their riverfront event space is available for rental to the public.